Next, the funding of Iraqi surgency. The Sunni-led group that swept through Iraq in recent months has amassed a fortune. Intelligence experts think that as much as $2 billion they might possibly have. Last month, it's claimed ISIS fighters looted half a billion dollars from banks in the northern city of Mosul, though this has not been independently confirmed yet. Tony Chang reports on how ISIS, also known as ISIL, is financing itself. An impressive display of military might in the Syrian city of Raqqa as armed vehicles of the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant celebrate the foundation of the Islamic State, stretching all across the Middle East. But an empire of that scale and ambition is expensive, especially one at war. Belief may drive the fighters, but bullets and fuel cost cold hard cash. This man witnessed the invasion of Mosul. His home's close to the city's central bank, and he wants to remain unidentifiable. When the Islamic State fighters, or Daesh as they're known in Arabic, came, they had a very specific goal. Daesh came and took the most important parts of Mosul, and that was the banks, all of the banks of Mosul. Ahmed's family still live close to the bank, and he speaks to them every day. Although life in the Islamic State is bearable, he says, supplies are running low and money is running out. For now, nobody can take cash from the bank, not even the employees of the government, not anyone. Even Daesh, they can't take any money from the bank because they are protecting it, because it's forbidden to touch it. After Mosul was abandoned, the mayor claimed ISIL fighters had seized more than $400 million in reserves. But is such a large amount credible? They may not look desperately impressive, but the banks in this region are driven by a cash-rich society and huge investment in the oil industry. So even a small branch like this could keep a reserve of tens of millions of dollars in cash. But the banks are only part of the equation. Revenue streams are also generated from oil fields and taxes. Kidnappings and extortion may also be a major earner. Some estimate the Islamic State has more than a billion dollars under its control. Being able to fund yourself is a critical part of being able to survive. Um, ISIL's funding definitely helps it establish itself and gain more territory. It helps it buy loyalties. It helps it pay uh, various government workers to ensure that they show up. It helps it bribe other groups so that they pledge allegiance to it. But running a nation is an expensive business, and prosperity rarely finds its origin on the battlefield. The Iraqi government is pushing back hard, trying to retake the assets it lost. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Erbil.